along the coast of Louisiana. Most of this was open water. You can walk on what, for years, has been water. Hurricane Katrina was a wake-up call. In the decades before the big storm, Louisiana had lost a lot of land about the size of Delaware. Subsidence and manipulations to the Mississippi River ate away at the coastline. Then you have saltwater intrusion that's killed all the aquatic vegetation, killing all the oak trees. By the time Hurricane Katrina hit, the state's natural buffer to the sea had been decimated. The storm surge funneled unchecked through a shipping channel built 50 years before. So really, Hurricane Katrina exposed that vulnerability. In that channel, a welded cross now honors the victims, and a nearly two-mile-long wall protects the city. But even the arsenal of concrete and steel built since the storm cannot do the job alone. Rebuilding that natural buffer in front of the levees is really important for helping protect the city. These piles of mud are part of the solution. Louisiana is creating 2,700 acres of new land, the biggest project like this in state history. We have to think big because that matches the size and scale of the challenges. Mud dredged from the bottom forms the footprints for these new wetlands. The natural buffers will slow storm surges before they reach the levee system. But they also do something steel and concrete cannot. They create opportunity, habitat, and healing. The, the shrimpers, the crabbers, the oyster fishermen, those don't exist without this estuary, one of the largest, most important estuaries in the world. It's emotional when you're able to come out and see new land that you could literally walk out and stand on where it was once open water. It's huge. In southern Louisiana, Brad Hicks reporting.